Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode. This is us finishing up season one. We will be doing a proper squad report, taking a look into the players. We will be doing the awards. I will let you guys know which players are actually turning out to be winning awards this year and also we will be doing the forfeits at the end of the video if you guys enjoyed season one and it seems like you really have that season finale did incredibly well on the channel go ahead and hit that like button on this video as well guys that would be very much appreciated you guys have been asking for a video where i do awards for a very long time and now the time has come so as you guys remember, we have won the Premier League with only a three-point gap to Spurs. It turned out to be quite an intense season towards the end and it was a lot of fun to play. Then, we also played in the Champions League and instead of playing against the team that we all wanted to see us play against in the Champions League final, which was Manchester City, we actually came up against Inter and it was a 2-1 victory against Inter in the Champions League final, which I was very, very happy about. And and it just turned out to be an incredible season. But despite the fact that we have won big titles already, a lot of you guys, most of you guys in the last episode of the season finale wanted to see season two. And I get why, because I'm a Liverpool fan. I care about this team. You guys, a lot of you guys on my channel have subscribed. First time you subscribed was when uh, Liverpool career mode came out and you saw an episode of that and you came here for the Liverpool career mode and you want me to continue. So I appreciate it, boys. We will be doing season two with Liverpool. We'll see how things go. If it just does as well as season one has done, I will definitely continue on doing the Liverpool career mode until season two finishes. But we have big goals for the next season and those will be that we absolutely need to win every single competition that we are taking part in most importantly guys i need all of you yes all of you to go down into the comments down below and put hashtag fan objective put it together hashtag fan objective put it in there and let me know what kind of fan objectives you want to see for the next season the fan objectives have have been the main reason as to why this career mode has been so much fun and i'm definitely continuing that in season two so go ahead and leave your suggestions down below in the comments also get involved into the discord to go ahead and scout some players for me you have to you have to sim forward at least into season two at the end of season two so that that i know how these players would be in season two for our liverpool career mode so discord as well is in the link in the description down below now let's start off with the uh goals and assists let's just take a look which players have been the best players in our team now one thing is clear Mo Salah, 49 goals, 9 assists, absolutely amazing season. He has been the most influential player in our team. 34 games in the Premier League, 34 goals, 6 assists. Cannot complain about his performance at all. I've never had a player doing so well for me in terms of scoring goals in just one season. Absolutely incredible. Then moving on, we have Sadio Mane, who has been quiet at times, but he has stepped up. This man has gotten himself 37 scorer points in 53 games. That is not bad at all. That is great from Sadio Mane right there. But one man was better than him. Roberto Firmino. This guy, 23 goals, 25 assists in that false nine. That is just the perfect position for this man. And he has been doing such a great job for us. And I think he was the key for our attack to being so successful. He is the key in this team. If Bobby Firmino leaves Liverpool, trust me, that front three doesn't work as well. This guy is an absolute legend. 23 goals, 25 assists. What else can you ask for? 48 scorer points in 55 games. That's ridiculous. I mean, Salah... He has 58 scorer points in 55 appearances, but uh, he just had an incredible season. Outstanding performance from him, obviously, but we cannot overlook the fact that Firmino has been incredible throughout the entire season and has been very consistent as well with the assists. So uh, big ups to Firmino right there. Daniel Sturridge is coming in as the uh, third placed, uh, no, the fourth placed one in terms of scoring goals. 
But one guy, boys. I mean, I'm happy that we got the career revival done for him. One guy that we need to take a look at is this man right here. Genie Vinaldum. 10 goals as a centre mid. 28 assists. That is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever had a player having 28 assists in one season. I mean, the fact that Firmino has 25 is already just mind-boggling. But the fact that Vinaldum has 28 assists. I mean, he has been the best player in our midfield, period. No Keita, no Fabinho, no Henderson, no Milner. Vinaldum. he was the key in this team. What a performance this season from Vinaldum. Incredible. And then moving on, we have Badli right here and Shakiri. Shakiri, I'm gonna get rid of, boys. I, I don't think I like him. Um, his, his body type, I, don't, I just don't know. He... Even though he should be fast, he is not fast. He loses the ball too easily, even though he should be very strong. I just don't get it. Why this guy cannot perform for me. I think I'm going to let him go, sadly. But Bardi right here has been incredible in his first season. He's doing bits for Levante right now. And this guy will be very, very popular in the future. Take a look on uh, his goals that he scored in real life already. Absolutely amazing player. And he has the number 10 at his club as well, which is huge. So we have Fabinho right here, who in terms of defending, in terms of CDM position, definitely was the best in our team. Fabinho was great. Eight goals, 16 assists as a CDM. It's quite impressive. Scored a few long shots from outside the box, which was very nice as well. Van Dijk, absolute monster. Really love him. 87 rated. Such a good center back. One of the best in the world, in my opinion. But um, he has been lacking in terms of like defending crosses together with Joe Gomez. They have been not so promising let's put it that way Henderson didn't get that much play time but when he did play he was very 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 good for us he scored some very nice goals as well which is very nice to see Sar even though he doesn't have the best amount of goals or the highest amount of assists as a substitute when he comes into the games especially now towards the end of the season where he got to a higher rating he felt really good so I'm gonna give Sar another um, another opportunity in the next season Navi Keita was great but not amazing he's 86 rated plus three in this season and still I'm sitting here saying he's not amazing maybe it's just the fact that he's playing in that left center midfield position and not in a right center midfield position where Wijnaldum is and is doing bits in combination with Salah I believe probably 20 of those assists that Vinaldum has is for Mohamed Salah because he just plays it through into him every time and Salah finishes it so Keita doesn't have that same luxury right now with Sadio Mane but he's good he's good don't get me wrong defensively not the best but moving forward he's good 86 rated we are expecting a little bit more from him in the next season um Oxley Chamberlain all right just about all right. A really good backup player. Alexander Arnold, amazing right back. Now 80 rated. Probably will go up to 82, 83 in the next season. Really like seeing him do well. Joe Gomez has been decent in that center back position. Fl plus four in this season, which is very nice to see. Plus five for Brewster. 67 right now. Robertson was a huge issue throughout the, this whole entire season. We have been struggling with him big time, but I kind of feel like I, I kind of feel like he has deserved to remain in the starting lineup. We brought in Mendy as competition. We didn't bring in Mendy as replacement for Robertson. We brought him in to let Robertson know, all right, you have competition. When you mess up, we have someone coming into the starting lineup. And Robertson did really well. And he started to get to headers. It just impressed me a lot. I think the last touch of the Liverpool team in this season was when Robertson headed the ball. So maybe there's a bright future with Robertson. In terms of moving forward and crossing the ball, he's great. We need to do that a little bit more often. Only four assists in 49 games is a bit low, but we also don't really have the tall guys ahead who can just go ahead and score a lot of headers. But uh, right here we have Kent moving up by plus two. Solanke plus three right there. Not the best of performances from some of these kids, but uh, they will be coming back from their loans. Harry Wilson is doing bits right now. In real life this guy is doing bits and I'm really interested to see if Liverpool actually will be using him in the upcoming season. Jones is someone that I really loved in the preseason only got a plus three so now boys we can go ahead and take a look at the awards. I think for me personally the best player of the season 
has to be Mo Salah. There is no way anyone else deserves to have the player of the season medal attached to him than Mohamed Salah. Absolutely incredible stuff from him. He has been the main man in this team and in the background you can see a couple of clips of him performing well. I cannot say that any player in my team has performed better than him. Any any other player has been has not been as clutch as Mo Salah has been. Mo Salah was unbelievable. 49 goals in a season. How can you pick another player to be player of the season? I guess Firmino would be a very close second because he had 48 scorer points in 55 games. Firmino was incredible, but I would have to say Salah is the number one. Sometimes you just have to give it to the guy that scores the most goals because that is what wins you games most of the time. But then, moving on, I would have to say the most impactful player in my team, the, the guy that had the most impact on the team when he was in a starting lineup, has to be Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum is the most impactful player in our team. Wijnaldum was incredible this season. 28 assists. 10 goals as a center mid. Are you kidding? That is an incredible performance from Wijnaldum. He scored some really nice goals as well. I have to give it to him. He has been an unbelievable player. He has been the best midfielder, the most impactful player in our team as well whenever he played. Whenever he, do he didn't play, we genuinely felt his absence. And that is something that makes him the most impactful player in our team. Then moving on from that though, we have the best defender in the team and as much as I would like to give it to Van Dijk, I feel like I have to give it to Alisson. Alisson has made some incredible saves. Yes, at times we had moments where we were thinking, you know what, Alisson is not good enough. He's making a few mistakes here and there. But then in certain games, he just wouldn't let them score. He would save every single shot that was coming across to him. And he has been the best defender in the team, in my opinion, if we consider him to be a defender as well in this squad. Van Dijk is a close second. I mean, he's the captain of the team right now. He's 87 rated, but I got to give it to Alisson. He has been absolutely incredible in our team. Alisson has been the best defender in this squad. Then moving on to the best talent of Liverpool. Now, this one is a bit tough because... We didn't really have any standout talents this year, but if I would have to give it to one person, I would have to say Enis Bardi. As much as I love Trent Alexander-Arnold, as much as I like Joe Gomez, and as much as I like Mendy, Brewster, and all those young uh, players, Enis Bardi has to be the one that I personally enjoyed the most. He has been so good. Some of the goals that he scored were incredible. Enis Bardi is definitely the best young player of this season. I have to give it to him, boys. There is no other player that really deserves it in my eyes. And yeah, man, he has just been unbelievable in that center midfield position. When he got subbed in, he had huge impact onto the game, scored goals, scored free kicks. And on top of it, he has some great passing play on him and the four star skills, which makes him a very, very special player in my eyes. So now those are the awards that I've done for this season. If you guys want to see more awards in the next season, let me know. I, I don't think I should give a goal of the season award because it kind of degrades some of the other goals. We had some incredible goals scored this season. I, I was thinking about doing a goal of the season one, but I kind of felt like I don't want to because we had some incredible, incredible goals. And then by just putting one at number one, and putting others into number two and not being mentioned in the video, I kind of felt like, you know what, that's unfair because we had some incredible goals this season and I don't want to disregard any of them. So I'm not going to do goal of the season. If you guys want to let me know which one was the goal of the season for you, let me know in the comments down below, please. I want to know which one you thought was the goal of the season. And now it's time to take a look at the objectives and see what kind of forfeits we have to do. The record breaker, we have done it, boys. We have scored 34 goals with Mo Salah. We have upped his record by plus two. Incredible season from Mo Salah. I don't think I'll be able to repeat anything like that ever again. The Magical 3 though, 
We only got it to 143 scorer points and that means I will actually have to do the 50 push-ups on stream right now. Now this might look like a small number to a couple of you guys out there that train a lot and it looked like a small number to me as well back then when we started the career mode but since FIFA 19 has come out I legit had zero time to train at all before FIFA 19 came out I was training every second day so now since I haven't trained in like what a month at least I feel like I've lost all of my power but I gotta try and come up with 50 push-ups right now let's see all right let's see boys this is gonna be interesting. I haven't done this in a while. Actually, should I do it this way or this way? I think I'm gonna do it this way, just so you guys can see me. Ah, all right then. Let's go. know how much that was. Woo! Hold on. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> That should be 50, right? I didn't count. I genuinely didn't count. Whew. Oh my god. Whew. I'm dead. Whew. I don't want to put any excuses out there, but honestly, I have not trained for a month and I'm just sitting here in front of the PC working all day and I can feel it, man. I can feel it. My body isn't as fit anymore. I can, I can barely breathe, bro, after just 50 push-ups. I need to do some more, man. That's why I'm getting an editor, by the way, guys. I am getting an editor that will be working on my videos from this point on. Yes, the career mode videos will not be edited by me anymore. They will be edited even better, and I'm really looking forward to see what you guys think of it. The youngster growth is another objective that I have uh, failed, boys. Uh, we will have to give away FIFA points for this one. Make sure to go to the link in the description down below. It is the link that I have on my Twitter. Go ahead and retweet it. Follow my, uh, follow my Twitter as well. If you have done both of those things, I will go ahead and give away FIFA points. Three times 2,200 FIFA points is what I will be doing for you boys. So if you are looking forward to take part in it and win the FIFA points, retweet the link in the description down below and make sure to follow me on my Twitter as well. That is another objective checked off the list. Now in the rivalry wars, I did it. I have not failed that objective. The Alisson's assist didn't fail that one as well. The career revival did it as well, boys. We did really well in a lot of the objectives. Only failed two of them, being Magical 3 and the Youngster Growth. But I feel like it turned out to be a very, very successful season. I want to make the next season even better. And with the new editor coming in, the videos are going to be much more high quality much better edited than I could ever do it and it will take a lot of work off of me which then means that you definitely will be getting career mode videos every day so look forward to that and a lot more double upload days will be coming your way thank you so much for watching this video smash that like if you haven't already take care peace